You always dream of having your face as a game character, right? I am Mask, and in today's video I will teach you how to transform your photos into a 3D virtual character. So stay until the end of the video because today I will help you make this dream come true. To start, leave a like, subscribe to the channel and let's go! To get the photos, I will use a character from MetaHuman, since they have several models available. I can use this model itself to take the photos. I will take the photos of this character from the front, the left side and the right side. And I will use only these three photos to create our 3D character. After you have the three photos, go to the website avatar.me and sign up, then log in. Click on new avatar and go to upload. The first photo should be the front one, the second the left and the third the right. After that, down here, select the type of the character, we will select the second one, which is the female type. The other option is V1 and V2. V1 is more static and looks like more character's face, and the second version is an animated version, where you have eye animation, mouth, facial expressions, etc. We will use the first version, click on submit. Done. The character is generated. Avatar ignores the original hair of the character, creating another model. Just customize here. Select your body type. Let's go with this one. Let's keep this hair actually. Uh, let's choose this other one here. And let's change the color too. Let's go with pink. Let's pick an outfit. Well, select this one because I have an idea for this character. And let's change the shoes. Done. Perfect. Just click here to export, select avatar with animation and save it in the folder you want. After that, click on import to Unreal Engine. And here on the website, click on convert to GLB, to FBX. Drag the model you downloaded to this screen and select a rig below, then convert. This process will convert the character that Avatar created into a new standard Unreal Engine character. Click on download, save it in the folder and done. After downloading, your character is almost ready. From now on, I have another tutorial in another video that I will leave here in the card, ok? Which is about how to do the rigging and retargeting of your character. I will do it quickly here to put this character into the map, following the same procedure. We will use the retarget from Unreal 4 to Unreal 5 to model our new character. However, since the game I'm testing is with the mannequin from Unreal 5, I need to use a retarget from version 5 to version 4. Often, this kind of things happens here and I can do nothing about it. The retarget apparently was correct, but the model has issues. This can be either a problem with the export from the rig, uh, or with the conversion to the FBX, I don't know. Which is, uh, I believe is the problem, maybe. This conversion is FBX, often uh, has this kind of issue. So we have other retarget alternatives, I will show you one now. In that first folder of the GLB model, we can right click on the model, create IK rig, this will create a pre-rigged model of the character. Clicking on the create retarget change, it will create the entire bone modeling of the character to be paired with the, the next character. Click on save, go to the folder, mannequin rigs and copy the RTG mannequin here. It is the retarget from version 5 to version 5 or any other version. It is just a template. Let's copy it to the folder and rename it. After that, let's select our new character here. Click on Asset Settings and here on Target IK Rig Asset, 
Let's select our new model, which is this one with the arms open in a T pose. With that, let's select a specific walking animation to see how the character looks. Click here on running retarget to exit the animation mode. In this model, we need to adjust the shoulders a bit of the character that comes with the GLB because uh, it comes in the T pose and the real character comes in the A pose. So we need to make some adjustments. This usually takes a lot of work. We will tweak a few things here just to not take a long. Lower the shoulder a bit, then lower the arm. The same for the left and right sides. Lower the shoulder once and the arm a few times. It's already looking better. This model might have a small issue here in the shoulder, but it's okay. It's just to show you how, to, how it works, because when you make your models, they will look a bit different. In the walk animation, the character is already moving. Every time you do the retarget, the arms and legs have to be in the exact same position. Since I only adjusted the shoulders and lowered them a bit, the positions are different. Uh, but you fix all that during your retarget. Uh, what matters what matters here is making the character work for now After this step we need to create the animation blueprint for the character right click on the model create animation blueprint open and it look for Option retarget pose from mesh Link it with the result Click on retarget pose from mesh and here we will select the IK rig retarget for the model we just created. Click on compile and it's ready. Let's put the character on the map. To place the character in the map we need to create a blueprint for it. So let's go here, character blueprint, right click, create blueprint class, here click on mesh, click on edit and let's add a skeletal mesh. This skeletal mesh will be our new character, which will be this model in a T pose in anim class. Uh, let's select the, the one we just created for the model, which is this one below. Skeleton anim blueprint. It will already change position here. Click on the mesh, type VIS, disable visible option, and here in visibility based anim tick option, select the first option, all tick pose and refresh bones. Click on compile and let's place it in the map. Click here on search and type POS to check if the character is linked to a controller and it's not auto possessed. The player should be always at zero, so uh, that the zero controller possesses the character. And let's test it. And here is our character. <laughs> oh my god. And look at the arms. <laughs> Are all twisted. <laughs> it's a shame. This is a retarget issue, guys. No problem. Just adjust the positions correctly there and we will work fine. Here it looks very similar to how the Unreal 5 character walks. It just needs a few adjustments. The quality is very good, apart from the retarget, uh, of course. I'm eager to see how your character turned out. So if you want to send me via DM, my Instagram is right below in the description. And that's it. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe to the channel, leave your comments below to share our thoughts and have an amazing day!